what's up from China. Uh, I am awesome amounts of sick today. Uh, yesterday we went hiking, which was not really hiking, but there's a blog post about that. And I got back around 5, 6-ish and got a migraine and went to bed for 13 to 15 hours. So I am staying in bed today because I feel like that's a wise decision. I actually just left the room for the first time to get some street food um, for breakfast at 3 o'clock because I figured it was smart to eat something. And I realized that I had never told you guys the Wan Fujing story. I was just looking back at blog posts because I'm sick and in bed and I watched like six movies today. Also, these these are show my these are not my favorite street food. Um, but what they are is they are little mounds of rice covered in possibly rice paper. We think that the rice is mixed with something like soy sauce or something salty and saucy. So yeah, soy sauce. And they're pretty good. They are one ply, which is approximately fifteen cents per piece. So they make a good breakfast. Um, Ji Dung Wan Bang is my second favorite. And I get a picture of that and write a whole blog post dedicated to it because I eat it for four weeks every day until the doctor told me that I couldn't anymore. So yeah, anyway, Wan Fujing. Okay, there are a few favorite, like, the night market, basically, night market, day market. It's a market all the time. It's really famous. Um, it's where the, everyone has, like, the weird foods, like scorpion on a stick or squid on a stick or anything you can possibly put on a stick so we're like hey we want to go there it was in like a nice part of town we like food we were hungry we wanted weird food i wanted to try bugs uh but the bugs were actually moving on the sticks and i may have backed out a little bit i still want to eat bugs but i don't want to see them moving while impaled on a stick first so anyway, I and a couple other people, um, for name's sake, Marcy, Hannah, Alex, Hillary, I think that's who was all there, um, we went to Wanfujing, and we took the D10, and we went down the street, and we're like, wow, this is really bright and cool, and it's night market, and there's tourists every, there was, what is it, it's, uh, uh, seas of people, seas of people, um, the Chinese actually have a word for, they have a few words for seas of people, it's either Renau or, uh, what is it, Renhai Renshan, which is, like, sea, ocean of people, mountain of people. Uh, so, we were looking at the stalls, and I saw one that said snake, and I thought this was really interesting, because it's snake, right? Uh, so, I went up to the vendor, and I was like, so, duo shao qian, which means how much money. And he's like, oh, 20. I'm like, huh, for a snake, that's great. That's like my breakfast and my lunch and part of my dinner because I don't eat a lot. Uh, and we walked away and he came back and I was like, okay, this looks like the most interesting thing that I'm going to be eating tonight. And so I'm like, Hannah, who is our Asian girl, um, she's actually Korean, but people mistake her for Chinese all the time. And I feel really bad for her and her Chinese is really getting really good. But anyway, uh... I said, Hannah, hey, go up, ask them how much it is, because, you know, like, tourism, there's an American tax. There is a tax for being a white person, and it is not listed on receipts. You really get this at the markets, like Silk Market and Pearl Market. Um, once they know you know how to speak Chinese, the tax goes down a little bit, but there is still a white person tax. Like, if you walk into a store, and you're like, how much is this? And they're like, oh, 400, and you're like, really? Because this is a pair of pants. Um, and sometimes you can barter down and sometimes you can't. Anyway, so I, we had our Asian person walk up and say how much, and we were like, oh, Archer, Archer, um, which means 20. So I'm like, okay, Archer, right? And they're like, yeah, I'm like, I want that. And so they're frying it, and they fry it right in front of you, which is kind of nice. Um, also great is how you can see the flies on the stuff that they've already cooked and haven't handed to people. Um, anyway, so they cook it, they hand it to me, and I give them a 50, and they just look at me, and I'm like, you said Archer, like, it's 20, like, it's 20, right? Like, you said it was 20, and then they're like, you buy Archer, which means 120, which is about 20 bucks, yeah, it's about 20, 21 bucks, and so it's like, really, really? 
I mean, they were joking with me and asked me if I had a boyfriend, and they were be they were being market vendors, which is what they do. Um, but it was just like, really, guys? And they pointed to the side in the back, which was, of course, all in Chinese, and something had 120 behind it. Um, and later confirmed by one of my friends that that was snake. But it was one of those moments when you're like, do I? You they told me 20. Would I rather eat the snake for 20 bucks? Or save 20 bucks and not eat snake. So I can say that I've eaten snake now. Uh, funny enough, before the first time we went there, we should have been totally prepared for this. We should have been, weren't. Um, because the guy, one of the guys that was with us had gotten little uh, jiaozi, which, okay, I'm used to calling them. Last time I came to China, they called them pelmieni. In Russia, they call them pyroshki. Uh... Polish people call them pierogies. They're all basically the same thing. They're little sacks of meat that are dumpling-ish, and you fry them, and they're good. Anyway, so one of the guys had gone there, and when he asked how much they were, the guy said 15. But when he got them, he got six of them, and they were 90, because they were 15 each. So, yeah. Should have been fair. We're still got to eat snake. It was a good story um, of being a shangdang which means fool. And uh, I'm gonna go eat my rice now. Bye.